Next question, question 20. A box contains 14 black balls, 20 blue balls, 26 green balls, 28 yellow balls and 38 red balls and 54 white balls. Answer the following statement. Okay. So before reading the entire question, let me just note down what is given. So 14 black and 20 blue and 26 green 28 yellow uh, 38 red 54 white these are the number of balls and the question uh, the consider the following statement One, first statement is the smallest number n such that any n balls drawn from the box randomly must contain one full group of at least one color is 175 okay we will de de decode that part second statement is the smallest number m <laughs> such that any m balls drawn from the box randomly must contain at least one ball of each color is 167 which of the above statement is or are correct so we will take up the first question the smallest number n such that any num any n balls drawn from the box randomly so we are randomly selecting balls from the group from this group uh, and our minimum uh, so what is the minimum n that we must randomly choose so that it must contain one full group of at least one color so one full group one full group of at least one color so this is the requirement so in such question we have to think about the worst case scenario and see what is the minimum number that will come in such a scenario what is the minimum number that we have to pick in such such a worst case scenario so uh, so that that will give the minimum number um, uh, the smallest number such that randomly if you cho choose that will ensure that we uh, this condition will be satisfied we'll see how so since we need one full group of at least one color so <laughs> we'll think about the worst case scenario Worst case scenario is like we randomly start picking the colors and we get say 53 white balls. So we'll, I will just explain how that is a worst case scenario. Uh, so it is 50, 53 white balls we get and say if we get okay uh, so more clarity you will have more clarity if you start from the smallest group. So uh, will uh, I let me uh, I ran I start to randomly pick up the balls and I get first 13 black balls say 13 black balls so uh, if we take uh, when we take the 14th ball if it is a black then we will have one full group of at least one color that is the best case scenario so we won't get uh, so we are talking about the worst case scenario so what is the worst case scenario instead of getting the 14th black ball we we start picking up the blue ball say so we we started getting blue balls and we get 19 blue balls so first we got 13 black then we get 19 blue balls so if we get one more blue or black then our criterion will be satisfied that but instead of when we start when we continue randomly picking instead of getting in the one black and one blue we start getting green balls and we get 25 green balls and the one ball that is needed to complete this group also we we are not getting then we start getting yellow balls and we get 27 yellow balls then we start getting 37 red balls and we get we, we are getting 53 white balls so so this much balls we picked up and still we are not getting one full group so one, we didn't get one full group uh, so now we have one black left, one blue left, one green left, one yellow left, one red left and one white left. So if we pick one more ball, we, we, we can say that if we pick one more ball, we will definitely get one full group of at least one color. We, we are not sure which color that is, but if we pick this much balls, we consider our worst case scenario and when we pick up one more ball, we will for sure get one full group of at least one color. 
so this is the number that is that we needed now we just have to sum everything so if you see 7 plus 7 14 uh, 14 uh, 14 plus uh, so, sorry, uh, uh, we are just summing. So 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. 11 plus 7, 18. 18 plus 5, uh, 23. 23 plus 3, uh, 26. 26 plus 9. 23, uh, uh, 26. Uh, so 29 is 35, right? So 3. Let me just confirm that. 10 11 18 18 plus 5 uh, 22 22 plus 9 14, uh, 10 11 18 18 uh, 23 23 plus 9 uh, is 23 uh, 26 26 plus 9 26 plus 9 is 35 correct 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 plus 5 uh, 17 so 175 so 175 if we pick up 175 balls we can say that we will get one full group of at least one color so the statement the smallest number n such that any n balls drawn from the box randomly must contain one full group of at least one color is 175 is correct so this statement is correct uh, we get uh, the number as 175 this is how we get our uh, number as 175 that is we think the worst case scenario and the in in that scenario what is the maximum number we have to pick uh, so, so sorry the minimum number that we can pick uh, to ensure one at least one color in this worst can uh, case scenario uh, saying 176 is the number <coughs> doesn't make sense <laughs> so <coughs> sorry in the worst case scenario by picking just 175 we will get one full group of at least one color for sure so we got our first answer now we'll pick see what is our second statement the smallest number m says that any m balls drawn from the box randomly must contain at least uh, one ball of each color is 167 one second let me just uh, So uh, here the question asks, our requirement is at least contain at least one ball of each color. We need at least one ball of each color. Uh, so one ball of each color. So what is that criterion? Uh, at least one ball of each color uh, so we need uh, uh, one black one blue one green one yellow one red one white so in that scenario what is the worst case scenario uh, so uh, we need to uh, get uh, in uh, to get one ball of each color means um, say we get the small uh, the um, co the color which have the smallest number uh, the last if we keep getting 54 38 20, 28 and all these but not black which is the smallest number we will have to pick up so many balls before getting black that is our worst case scenario i will explain how so first we pick up start picking up the balls and now we we are getting first 54 white balls so we need at least one ball of each color so getting 54 white balls is a worst case scenario for us now we, we continue picking up then we get 38 red balls so 38 red balls we get one white ball and one red ball all other ball was useless for us so that, that's how the, this becomes the worst case scenario so and then we start picking then we get all the yellow balls 28 then we got all the green balls 26 and we get all the blue balls 20 20 blue balls now since we got all the, these balls, one more ball, we, we can, if we get one more ball, we can say that we will have the ball of each color. So we will get, we will ensure that we are getting a ball of, in, even in this worst case scenario, this is the minimum number that we, we have to pick to get the one ball of each color. 
so this is the uh, this much balls we have to pick in that worst case scenario so uh, if you add all this uh, 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 4 20 20 plus 6 26 26 plus 1 27 2 so 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 2 12 12 14 16 so 167 so we get our number as 167 so this is the worst case scenario and this is the minimum number that we are picking up in that worst case scenario and picking up 167 balls will ensure that we will have one ball of each color even in that worst case scenario so the, uh, since we are picking up the balls randomly we have to always consider the worst case scenario rather than the best case scenario if we just think about the best case scenario we are not thinking randomly we are not uh, picking up the balls randomly that means it it does not <laughs> include the worst case scenario <coughs> sorry so whenever we are picking up the balls randomly we have to think about the worst case scenario and in that scenario what is the minimum number that we have to pick that is what we are we should be thinking so in the second case our solution is 167 so it is given 167 so even the second statement is correct so which of the above statement is correct uh, the solution is c both 1 and 2 so solution to question 20 is C, both 1 and 2.